We are moving on this week. Venus moves into Sagittarius and things are starting to heat up. Hi friends, my name is Aylin. I am here to bring you your weekly horoscopes. We're going to cut right through the noise and get straight to the most important messages for you. In this video today, we are going to be taking a look at Venus's transit through the sign of Sagittarius from October 7th until November 4th of 2021. Venus means and signifies many things, but very often Venus plays a big role in the choices that allow for us to bring a sense of ease and harmony to our life and reaching a different definition of fulfillment. Very often, my experience has been following the Venus transits that there are three different questions we could be asking ourselves in the very moment or in the day-to-day -day unfoldment of Venus's transits. The first one is, what is unfolding? The second one is, how is it unfolding? And the third one is, who is all participating in the current experience? And so these are the three different areas that we could be taking a look at when we're talking about Venus. So inside of that subject, there could be many, many different themes that could be unfolding with Venus. But ultimately, Venus is really allowing for us to examine over and over again the quality of our experience and how we're reaching fulfillment on the day-to-day -day and also for the future. Now, let's take a closer look at Sagittarius because Venus is now moving from Scorpio into Sagittarius. Sagittarius is a mutable fire sign, a sign that represents leaping forward. A mutable fire is an element that has to move. It it has to move. It has to look at life from a bigger perspective. Now, when we think of Sagittarius, we also think of its ruler, which is the planet Jupiter. And so when we think of Jupiter, we're thinking a larger than life type of personality here with Sagittarius. We're thinking of the bigger picture, an honest expression with a good dose of sarcasm. Sagittarius energy can also bring direct speech where it is unaware of its impact at first because it just communicates in an honest way in the moment from a moment to moment phenomena. Seeking excitement is maybe another theme that you have heard, but sometimes that seeking its excitement has to do with some kind of risk involved or something that feels like it's drawing you in because there's something to solve about it or it feels has like a good dose of danger to it. Sometimes that can be an, uh, an energy here that we're taking a look at with Venus and Sagittarius as well. With this energy, we could also be taking a look at a very particular lens that has to do with the topic of truth. Not just any kind of truth, but like the truth, the highest form of truth. That's what Sagittarius as an energy can represent as well. The other thing I want to discuss, which I find for this particular transit is going to be a theme I think that we are going to be taking a look at is rebellion against authority. When there is some kind of threat or some kind of danger for one's liberty or for one's freedom and some kind of authority goes up against it, the Sagittarius energy can be very helpful to try to bring some momentum to find freedom in this subject. It can really bring truth or freedom to this very subject. Now, sometimes this can also play out quickly through the themes of anger, and it can quickly switch its mood to make sure that this the truth or one's conviction is being spoken in the moment. Now, let's put it all together. Venus and Sagittarius, what's the lens that we're taking a look at here? What's the filter, uh, so to speak, that we could be taking a look at with this energy? There's definitely a pleasure about learning about different types of cultures, different types of backgrounds. There could also be a focus on philosophical discussions. There could be a focus and a gravitation towards all things that feel more of the higher mind. So learning things of philosophy, learning things that allow for us to become a wiser or to gain some kind of knowledge that brings a bigger understanding and a bigger picture back into our lives. Now, like I have mentioned before, the ruler of Venus in Sagittarius will be Jupiter. So Venus will be in Jupiter's sign of Sagittarius. Now, where is Jupiter? Jupiter is in the sign of Aquarius at the very moment. That is the transit that it's going and moving through. Now, it's really important to quickly discuss Jupiter and Aquarius during this time because Jupiter is in Saturn's sign at the moment. So we could be really engaging in discussions where we have maybe expanded too much. That could be a theme as well because Saturn brings sort of a uh, conversation to the plate where we have to take a look at where there is too much expansion or where we're allowing for ourselves to go way too 
um, quickly beyond something that we're comfortable with, and we need to kind of pull that aspect back. So there could be themes of this or reorganization of this that um, comes quickly into our lives because we're noticing that something just goes overboard. Now, on the other side of that, there could be an area of our life that is not expanding the way that we were hoping for. And part of it has to do with the reality of the situation. Are we dealing with the reality of that situation? What is the current moment in the current state of that situation telling us? These are the types of themes that. I believe we're going to be taking a look at during this particular Venus in Sagittarius transit. Now, I want to come back to the theme of bravery as well, coupled with passion. There could be a deep release of these two themes that could come up during this time as well. That is really just ready to pour out of our body, out into the open. And if there is any kind of situation in your life that requires speaking up or requires for you to speak up and bring your disagreements out into the open, there could be no hesitation to do that during this time. You might be more inclined to do it. You might be more inclined to bring this aspect forth and to really just deal with the situation at that time. So there could be a part of you that feels a lot more brave to deal with these types of situations at this time, because Venus in Sagittarius brings that feeling of bravery, brings that feeling of wanting to really move on and wanting to gain some momentum and breaking free from a rut. The other thing that I'm seeing with this particular transit is that we could be really working on new visions due to what it is that we're trying to expand in our life, because we're going to be in that expansive energy and the energy of bravery and passion, we could be taking a look at a new vision that we have, new ways to experience our life, new knowledge that we're wanting to gain, or we just gain it because that is what Venus in Sagittarius is magnetizing in our life at the moment. And so we could be uh, coming to new conclusions and coming into new ways to experience life. And that is going to bring some kind of renewed energy into our life that is much needed at this time. So I think in in a lot of ways, this is going to be a liberating time for many of us, but it will come with a good dose of bravery that is needed. And in some cases, there is going to be some tension that will rise or some kind of anger that will come up or may come up when there are areas in our lives that just feel like we have not dealt with it or they felt very stagnant. And also, let's not forget that during this time, Pluto is moving direct. So there is going to be this movement forward that we are taking a look at energetically. And a lot of that will start to unfold this month. Now, let's cover real quick some of the challenges that we could be experiencing in the collective. As Venus will be moving through the later degrees of Venus and Sagittarius, we could be experiencing some type of arguments, Arrogance can be another theme that could be coming up here as well. An increase in political arguments where there is ethical clashes. Those are the types of challenges that could come up with this Venus in Sagittarius transit. So this Venus in Sagittarius cycle, my personal predictions are that we are going to be redefining fulfillment via the universal mind placing a lot of emphasis on what the highest emotional value or aim is, not only for us personally, but also in our social life. The second thing that I'm seeing is that we are going to be moving via discovery a lot more because we're feeling we're like gaining some momentum back in our lives. So what else is there to learn about that experience? We're going to be moving via that discovery. The third thing that I'm seeing is, is that we're going to be bonding to a very strong belief or a vision about our life where we're bringing in a new set of rules that will be non-negotiables moving forward. And part of this is because anything that we've learned with Venus and Scorpio, which was the transit before this one, we are going to be really moving on from that by placing in the proper boundaries and putting in the proper boundaries in a set of rules that will be non-negotiables as we are moving through this particular cycle with Venus in Sagittarius. The next thing I'm going to go briefly over with my personal predictions on what we will be experiencing are the degree phases that Venus and Sagittarius will be moving through. So the first one is going to be from zero to nine degrees. This is going to be a time where we're going to be expanding on new beliefs that are emerging. This is also a time where we're coming to a crossroads here. There are decisions and very important choices that will have to be made during this particular phase of the degrees. We are sort of forming that 
decision making during that time. It will have to do with um, events or circumstances or life experiences that are unfolding in our life at the time. Venus in Sagittarius is going to bring a new wisdom to all of the areas of our life that feel out of control, but we are going to be recognizing our part inside of that story and what we can do about it with accepting the parts of our life that there is nothing to do. So during this phase of the degrees, we're going to be really working on forming what decisions have to be made in order to bring a bit more momentum to areas of our life that feel like they've been holding us in a stagnation period. Moving on to the degrees from 10 to 19, this is when we're going to come to terms with a part of us that used to be carefree in everyday life. However, we have been outgrowing this aspect in some kind of a way, and we have to bring sort of a more uh, serious approach or a more calculated approach to this part of our life um, that has to do with the day-to-day -day living, it has to do with the present moment, it has to do with the ways in which we're experiencing pleasures, and are we really responsible for the way in which we're going about it? These are some of the themes that we're going to be taking a look at during the 10 to 19 degrees. Now, Ultimately, I think that what we're going to discover is, is that we can stay spontaneous and we can be free with things in our life that we really, really enjoy, but we also have to somehow find a balance where we are purposeful inside of that. The truth about that is going to reveal itself in during those degrees. Now, between 20 and 29 degrees, this is where we're going to really shape a new dedication and a new purpose. We're bringing in a higher sense of responsibilities that lead to changes, that lead to a new dedication, and will ultimately lead to a new purpose out there in the life that we're living. So we're moving from a more sort of personal inward reflection to an outward expression by the time we reach the 20 to 29 degrees. Now we're going to move on to the next portion of this video where I will be discussing the three degree phases for each of the specific zodiac signs. So I am going to be giving you clues as to what I see unfolding for you during zero to nine degrees, 10 to 19 degrees, and then 20 to 29 degrees. Also, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe and ring the bell so that we stay connected. And every time I put out new videos, you're going to get a notification. So if you want to be in touch with me, make sure that you ring that bell. For Aries and Aries rising, from zero to nine degrees, you guys are going to be expanding on who you are becoming and exactly what you want. Except for this time is going to feel a lot different because you have learned so much from your past. This is going to be a time where you're going to become a lot more purposeful. It feels like there's something bigger at stake and a bigger vision that you're forming. And that is what's going to be really important during that time, that expansion. From 20 to 29 degrees, a lot of you are going to honor the process in your dedication and what you feel you're purposeful in now, and you're in it for the long haul. So really important to stay open to any changes during this time that are still unfolding in your life. For Taurus and Taurus rising, zero to nine degrees is going to be expanding the keywords of grace and forgiveness. Something proves to be exactly what you thought and at the same time, you will realize your own mistake and turn this into gold. Now, from 10 to 19 degrees, you're going to come to terms with where you now need to silence your very own mind chatter. And you have to maybe listen to your heart more. From 20 to 29 degrees, you guys are going to be curious about a new dedication and a new purpose in your life. This may include a new sort of ritual in the day to day. This may also have to do with you changing your perception, but something is calling you forth to dream again. And there is a deep processing that is unfolding right now of the past of things that are letting go. But you're also going to realize that this time in your life that kept you sort of in a very stagnant uh, version of yourself is coming to an end. For Gemini and Gemini rising from zero to nine degrees, you guys are going to be expanding on anything you need to pay attention to in regards to your dream. There is going to be a pause and pay attention moment here that I'm seeing during this phase. You will get more honest with your goals and what it is that you're trying to reach in your life. 
or you will get more honest with some kind of goal you used to have and you will no longer find it purposeful. There is something that you have to let go. And this is now starting to become very apparent. From 10 to 19 degrees, you're going to come to terms with accepting boundaries in your life. There may have been some subjects in your life where in regards to relationship in particular, you did not want to accept boundaries, but you're going to be accepting these boundaries now and you're going to be implementing them. You're going to get a lot more engaged in that conversation because a part of you really wants to overcome any kind of like distractions or distractions that are caused by relationships in particular. From 20 to 29 degrees, you guys are going to not only put the boundaries down that you now need, but the boundaries will lead to manifestation skills. So you're going to become a lot more dedicated and purposeful in how you actually manifest in your life, how you attract certain uh, physical uh, items in your in your life. What is it about those physical items that you love? You might even be taking a look at a lot of the stuff that is in your home. A lot of you are going to be going through some kind of a purge where you're going to put the boundary down and you're going to either simplify it or you're going to make a complete different change to what it is that you love in your life, what it is that you really find um, valuable in your life. There's going to be a lot of change here. That could be between clothes, between jewelry, between your home, any kind of physical items that you have in your life. There could be like a purge or a redoing, a reamping or an up-leveling that is going to be happening during this phase as well. For cancer and cancer rising from zero to nine degrees, you guys are going to be expanding on opportunities that are going to be bringing you a lot more worth and increase some kind of worth in when it comes to finances, when it comes to money. Now from 10 to 19 degrees, you guys are going to um, basically work through any misunderstandings, or some of you are going to come to terms with a part of you that used to misunderstand a what you thought was a weakness, but it's actually your strength. And somehow this is going to connect you to the past, a past, very specific experience where you used to be judged. Um, and then because of that, you have been misunderstanding this aspect about yourself. From 20 to 29 degrees, you guys are going to birth a new confident version of yourself because you said so. This is going to bring a new dedication and a new purpose into your life as well. For Leo and Leo rising from zero to nine degrees, you guys are going, going to be focusing on family, tradition, sort of forming a new tribe and people who really, really matter in your life. Or some of those people might show up during this time and you're going to get the opportunity to kind of build a new tribe. And then from 10 to 19 degrees, you guys are going to come to terms with what you need to separate from and Really, that aspect is going to show you how to form a new circle or a new circle of really important items, even in your life, like physical items that matter and people that matter that will be a part or welcome inside of that new circle or the new space that you're creating. This could also be connected to a new home or a new place even. For Virgo and Virgo rising from zero to nine degrees, you guys are going to be expanding on new beginnings. Truly, it is going to be a time where you are stepping into a brand new start. This has a lot to do either with a career or it will have to do with parts of what really makes your heart happy or makes your heart sing. And it's also going to be at the same time, a time where you guys will have to step into a spotlight and a leadership role. So it's going to be a time to really shine. Now, from 10 to 19 degrees, this is when you guys are going to have to come to terms on how to really ground yourself. There is going to be a lot going on during this time. And also, there is going to be a lot of relationship dynamics where maybe much will surface during that time on relationships that you were wondering about. Perhaps you had this feeling that maybe the relationship would take a turn either for the better or for the worse. And this is going to be a time where a lot of that will actually start to happen. So you will be seeing through what you need to see through in order to really close some doors on certain relationships and then continue to keep the doors open on others. This is going to be a time where your strength is truly going to be mutable earth because mutable fire Sagittarius is going to show you what you need to purify even more in your life. The less you speak, the more you're going to be shown. I think this is going to be a time where you will be able to really nurture yourself that way and appreciate who you are and how you actually ground and how you're actually going to be growing into the future. Now from 20 to 29 degrees, this is when you guys are going to be stepping into a new dedication and a new purpose. And you're going to find this purpose in life itself. 
it's going to feel like your whole life is restarting again. It's a new energy. It's um, also going to be a time where there's, again, so much going on. Really pay attention to your sleep patterns. Um, it is going to be a time where a lot of gatherings are happening, meetings are happening. Now, this is also going to be a time when, where there is going to be a lot of gatherings and a lot of meetings that are going to be held. And this is going to be really important because I see for a lot of you that you could be meeting someone here during this time that is going to be really, really important to your career or to an important project that you have, or somehow this leads to an alliance between you and another person. This person has a lot of yang energy, um, so it is going to be a great fit, a lot of uh, drive that this person is bringing to the plate and you will like it. There is going to be some form of unity that is going to be shaped here. You will be really, really bonding, and I think that this is going to be a very positive outcome by the time that this Venus transit is coming to an end. For Libra and Libra rising, you guys are going to be releasing a lot during this time. From zero to nine degrees, you guys are going to be expanding on anything that makes you feel guilty, anything where you feel like you're obligated to other people, but essentially what you're going to discover is, is that you are not obligated to them. And so you come first. That is what you're going to be realizing from zero to nine degrees. Now from 10 to 19 degrees, you guys are going to come to terms with a new plan, a new template, a new blueprint about who you are, making time for what it is that you need and creating that time is going to be so important during this transit. And you, I see for a lot of you that you're going to be actually creating this. A lot of you are going to be realizing that you feel like the time is of essence or a part of you has maybe lost some time, but just know all of that you're trying to create, it is going to be happening one step at a time. Be patient. From 20 to 29 degrees, you guys are going to do a lot of important groundwork. There's a lot of foundational steps. There's a lot of meeting judgment with a willingness to diffuse this judgment. For Scorpio and Scorpio rising from zero to nine degrees, you guys are going to be expanding on a really big sense of coming home to yourself. It feels like that you guys have been going through a time where everything just sort of felt um, out of place or another word that keeps coming into mind is distorted. Um, I don't know how else to kind of describe this feeling, but it feels that now that Venus is in Sagittarius to zero to nine degrees, it's going to really help you to come home to yourself. From 10 to 19 degrees, you guys are going to be coming to terms with solutions. You're going to really um, find the solutions that you're looking for. You're going to awaken to the solutions um, and then your presence will matter. This is a really important key aspect here. Even though you're going to find the solutions, your presence inside of those solutions, it will matter. And it has to do with your physical presence. Um, it will make more sense as the time progresses into the 10 to 19 degrees. And your timing is going to matter as well. And you're going to find that you're going to start to really understand that as things are moving along in your life. From 20 to 29 degrees, you guys are going to be dedicated and purposeful in letting new solutions in, but also letting new love come in with that. That is a really big thing for you guys right now. It's sort of like soul connections and soul experiences that you could be experiencing, but it will matter the most if you are going to and what will matter the most is, is if you are allowing for those experience, experiences to come in at this time. You might experience a little bit of this hesitancy, but uh, I do see that for a lot of you, you're going to be open to it. You're going to let these experiences come to you that really fill you up. They fill up your cup. And you have been sort of here before. That kind of a feeling may come with it as well. A deja vu moment, a moment where you feel like you have been in this situation or in this scenario before and it feels just so familiar. For Sagittarius and Sagittarius rising from zero to nine degrees, you guys are going to be exploring on new options on all levels. This has to do with exploring new options and feeling like finally you can breathe again as Venus is moving into your sign of Sagittarius. Now, when I say all levels, I'm talking about new outfits, new people, new cars, new places, new everything. Now from 10 to 19 degrees, you guys are going to be coming to terms on a lot of aspects of your life that require discipline. And the reason they did 
they require discipline is because you guys are going to feel a lot of this urge to start to move forward and become unstoppable because there is a desire and a goal that you're moving towards and it's becoming a lot more obvious now what it is that you're going to go after but at the same time it will require some discipline. Now, another thing that I'm seeing for a lot of you here is that colors will play a huge role, either like um, like a color sort of therapy type of thing or colors in general. You might be drawn to the following colors that I see. That's an image that kind of came through as I was going through these transits for you. The colors blue, orange, and red will play a big role for you guys during this time as well. And it will kind of help you to put in finally a routine that you really, really like. If you are drawn to this, I definitely recommend it that you maybe try to wear something in these colors, blue, orange, or red. It will kind of help you to focus on this aspect of your life because so much is going to be going on. I also see that for a lot of you that there is going to be a good dose of balance between challenges and anything that feels sort of new, like a new territory, um, but like good challenges, things that you are really wanting to take on at this time in your life. From 20 to 29 degrees, you guys are going to be dedicated and purposeful in everything that involves rest at this time because you really need to rest. You have to focus on resting. You are going to be trying to expand your life a lot more during this time. So equal parts rest is very important, especially if you like to stay up all night. So a lot of you, I feel like you need to hear this and no like late nights this week, um, especially during these like degrees when you rest, you can kind of process more and you really need to get into that deep inside so that things can come together during this time for you a lot more. So this is the most important message for a lot of my Sagittarius during this particular degree phase. For Capricorn and Capricorn rising, the first phase is going to be zero to nine degrees and you guys are going to be expanding on the now, now, now. What is happening right now? Everything that's happening right now is an invitation to make a big, bold new move, a bold new move towards a new direction in career, towards a new direction in relationships, towards opportunities that you have been waiting for that will present themselves during this time. So the now, now, now is going to be super important and it's going to present itself day by day. Then from 10 to 19 degrees, you guys are going to come to terms with expanding your territory, expanding hope, expanding on new rules, regulations. And some of you will also be able to find solution to even administrative stuff. From 20 to 29 degrees, you guys are going to be very much in a place of listening to every conversation because every conversation will matter now and even more than you thought because someone will share very important details that will make a difference in your situation. That is going to be this transit right now. Lots of movement, lots of things that matter in the present moment. For Aquarius and Aquarius rising from zero to nine degrees, you guys are going to be expanding on a very sacred time in your life. And nothing here is going to be random. Everything is going to feel very connected and very just sort of faded during this time. Now you are going to be coming to terms, new energies that let you thrive in life. This has to do with people. This has to do with physical items in your life as well. So you guys are going to be really engaging in a new daily passion or what will feel like it's a new passion that is emerging. or It'll feel new at some level. From 20 to 29 degrees, you guys are going to be in a space where you feel that things are really coming together and somehow the silver color here plays a role. I know this is going to sound really random, but it will make sense. The silver tones or silver colors will play a huge role during this time as well. For Pisces and Pisces rising from zero to nine degrees, you guys are going to be expanding on guidance. Where do you get guidance from? What is guiding you at this time? You are also going to be expanding on important new relationships and relaxing into the unknown right now in your life. There is a part of you that's going to be able to relax into it. Now from 10 to 19 degrees, you guys are going to come to terms with finding more peace in your life and what defines your peace 
And there is going to be a moment of just release and a moment of a sigh, like you're finally able to let certain things in your life go. From 20 to 29 degrees, you guys are going to be dedicated and creating a lot more stillness in your life that leads to um, discovering your life, that leads to experiencing in your life, that leads to living your life. And it also is going to lead to knowing things you would have never known before. This is going to be really interesting because it's not something that is going to happen just from your own sort of inner knowing. This is something that comes from the outside into your life. And so this is going to be really important um, time for a lot of you. That's a wrap on today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell. It notifies you. It lets us be in connection. And then you get notification every time I put out a new reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.